Opening statements are set for today in one of the most high-profile murder trials in Chicago in years. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli joins us live now from outside of the criminal courts building where the men accused of killing Hydea Pendleton are set to go to trial. Mike, this murder happened five years ago. What took so long? Yeah, it's an incredibly long delay, that's for sure. Now, this, as you mentioned, is a very high-profile case, but it's also very complex. Throw in a, a lawyer change in the middle of all that, and it adds up to a delay of well over five years. Hydea Pendleton was caught in gang crossfire and gunned down in a Chicago park back in January of 2013. The 15-year-old had just returned from Washington, D.C., where she marched in President Obama's inaugural festivities. The president and first lady were so moved by what happened that Michelle Obama attended the funeral and can be seen here comforting Pendleton's mom. Two accused gang members were picked up and charged with the crime less than two weeks after it happened. Prosecutors say Kenneth Williams drove the getaway car and Michael Ward fired the fatal shot. Ward's videotaped confession lasted nearly 24 hours. One of the detectives involved in that interrogation worked with disgraced former police commander John Burge, who was accused of extracting confessions through torture. Then Ward switched his attorney. There's been a change of lawyers. There's been evidentiary rulings on admissibility of statements. There's questions about the reliability of the confession. There's even issues about the reputation of the, defect, the detectives that have been litigated in this case. All that adds up to a time-consuming process. Now, another thing that's interesting about this case is that the trials will happen simultaneously, but with two different juries. One of the issues, Ward confessed in this case and then recanted that confession, but Williams did not. So anytime there's a discussion of that confession in the courtroom, the jury for the Williams case will have to leave the courtroom.